Math 142, practice test number three. This is question number four. And I'm supposed to take this set of parametric equations and uh, write an equivalent rectangular equation. And so, you know, sometimes when I solve these, I'll try and solve for the variable and, and substitute it into the other one. But in this case, I see both sine and cosine. So I'm going to take advantage of that Pythagorean um, identity that I know uh, that says sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. So I'm going to solve both of these for cosine and sine and then, um, and then square both sides, basically. So on this one, I'll subtract 2 from both sides. And so on the left, I'll have x minus 2. On the right, the 2's cancel. And that's equal to 3 uh, times cosine of theta. Divide both sides by 3. Still working to get cosine all alone. That divides out to a 1 there. X minus 2 over 3 equals cosine theta. That's good. But I, I want to substitute in cosine squared. So I'll square both sides. And notice if I do that, the top, I'm not going to multiply it out. I'm just going to leave it as X minus 2 squared over the denominator. The bottom, I'll square it, 9. So I know, I know what cosine squared theta is. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing with this sine with a y1. Divide both sides by 2. I get y over 2 equals, that divides out to a 1, sine theta. Again, I don't want just a sine theta, I want a sine squared, so I'll square both sides. On the left, I have y squared over 2 squared is 4. So I know what sine squared is, it's this. So I'll substitute that y squared over 4 into the sine squared place. I know what cosine squared is, it's this. So I'll substitute that x minus 2 quantity squared over 9 into that spot. It equals 1. And I have this nice equation for an ellipse.